Good morning. It is Quilty Mom and Molly. And today, Molly's looking at me kind of crazy. Today, um, I wanted to show you my fabric haul yesterday. Hold it. I uh, got a gift certificate to my favorite quilt shop from my sister at Christmas time. Yay, thank you, Sandy. And, uh, you know, was super excited. So I waited until now to use it because I wanted to get you know, my little list going, you know, the things I want. And I actually, I got everything I wanted, but I was going to buy a bunch of white fabric. Um, and I, I ran out of money because I was just like having so much fun. But, you know, I can get a good white anywhere. Um, you know, one of the things that I'm doing to, you know, kind of help me pay for boxes is I'm going to have an Etsy store. And I recently did a wall hanging, uh, for a customer, she wanted a ballerina wall quilt for her granddaughter. And, and I was so pleased with the way it turned out. I definitely did a few different things than I've ever done with my quilts. I'm always challenging myself to try new things and be creative and, you know, not just put something out, you know, just for the sake of it. It's, you know, actually making art because, you know, when you pay that kind of money, you know, you don't want something that you can get at Walmart or, you know, Kohl's or whatever. You know, you're paying for something unique. So, uh, I have a girl, uh, Raven, that does my drawings for me. And I'm, I'm super, super grateful for her. So, I pay her to do my drawings and I turn them into applique. So, I have a picture of the quilt that I made for the uh, lady uh, customer. I don't know if it's going to show up really well on... I don't know if you can see that. It's a little ballerina. Oh. Well, I made that uh, for a customer. And it got me thinking that um, for my Etsy store, I do have some full made quilts. The thing is, is when you buy large quilts, because they, you know, take up so much material, they're expensive. And most people really can't afford it. And that's the truth. I mean, if I was not making them. I could not afford that. You know, I would, yeah, you know, and, and I feel bad. Someone recently asked me about making one and, you know, she was shocked at the price and, and, uh, you know, I wish they were cheaper to make. I mean, I, I could, if I could make them cheaper, if I used cheap fabric, but, uh, you know, I'm not willing to, you know, compromise on, you know, a quality, you know, piece. Um, but I, um, uh, I'm going to do a bunch of wall hangings and I wanted to, um, you know, so I can sell them for less money and make a bigger profit. So I'm definitely going to try that. I want to show you, uh, some of the fabric I got. And before I show you, would you please hit subscribe and like, and um, hit the little bell button if you want to see more from me. And at the end of this, I'm going to tell you about my next giveaway. Okay. So, one thing that I've got coming up here soon is a quilt along with me. Now, this is a series on teaching someone how to make a quilt from scratch, but anyone that is an experienced quilter can make the quilt along with us. And that would be fun, and especially if you're sending me pictures or you're making your own videos, that would be really neat to see, you know, what you do. So I have this... Uh, um, you know, I don't know what's, I know it's like a jelly roll, but it was in a, a flat package. And I know that different companies have different names for their jelly rolls, but it's the same thing as the two and a half inch strip, um, 1040. So I had this years ago, this package years ago that I got at a quilt show. Just really stunning, gorgeous colors. So I'm going to make this, use this as my jelly roll for the quilt. And I wanted to get, you know, a border to, you know, because it's such a bright and colorful quilt, I wanted to get the border. So I'm going to do this. And it's so bright and it's so fun and colorful. It really is, you know, it's a nice pop. Now the next thing that I'm working on is my friend is making uh drawing me some dinosaurs so i'm gonna make a dinosaur quilt and uh like do four dinosaurs 
So I have, it's no, actually it's going to be three dinosaurs and a, a lava. So this is going to be my volcano. It's beautiful brown batik. It's really, you know, these batiks are just stunning. And this red swirl, I don't know if you can see the swirls very well. They're like a very slight yellow. And that's going to be my lava. Now we're going to have a T-Rex. And I got this as my T-Rex fabric. I just, I like, you know, the texture of it. I was trying to, you know, I did some Googling of what a T-Rex looks like. And so in this is my mind, this is like a good T-Rex color. We're going to have a Brontosaurus. So we've got this green batik. And a lot of times, especially making children's quilts, I do use batiks just because the gorgeous pop of color. And I'm actually, I misplaced a piece of fabric. Hold on. Well, I'll have to find that. Um, and this is uh, the uh, stegosaurus. It's going to be the stegosaurus fabric. Okay. Now I'm going to do, oh, and here's the And this batik is going to be the border to tie it all in. So I thought this would make a really good boy dinosaur, well, any child dinosaur quilt. And I think I'm going to do a girl one after that. And But, uh, you know, that's just going to be a nice, bright, colorful kit. So I'm going to do another ballerina, but in purple. So this is going to be the ballerina skin. And I actually like this pink. Um, better than the last pink that I used for the last ballerina. And this light purple border. And that could, um, I don't know if I'm going to have that be part of her outfit. And I think that's just going to be a strict border. This deep, rich uh, purple, it looks like a batik, but it's actually not. Um, but it's stunning. And that's going to be the binding in her little ballerina outfit. And the one last fabric that I got, um, I'm also going to do a mermaid one. And I already have a mermaid dry, so this is going to be my water. Yeah. So as you can see, I had a lot of fun. Now, I went to this little store in Freeport. I live in Maine. And Freeport is uh, the town of uh, world-famous L.L. Bean. There's this favorite little quilt shop of mine called Cotton Weeds. And if you ever come to Maine, and if you're a quilter, you really should stop by there. I'm, I swear to God, I'm not getting paid anything about them. They're just really nice lady, Gloria Michelle. They do have a website, and I'll put that up, um, up above. But, you know, I always, especially when it comes to buying fabrics and quilts, I like to, you know, go to the small business. I like to give them my business. Uh, it, you know, not that I don't buy from the, you know, the big wigs. Sometimes I do, especially if I can't find something, but there's a lot of really great little quilt shops around here in Maine. And I absolutely love going to them. This one, um, just happens to be the closest and easiest for me to access, but it's, it's nice. You go in there, they know your name, you know, you show them your projects. And, you know, it's just a really great environment. You know, we we all need that, it's, you know, especially when you're, you know, you're working on something as precious as a quilt. And you, you can, you know, get their view of it, too. Now, some people um, are not really good with um, picking colors that go together, whatever. I just happen to be really good at that. But, uh, you know, a place like this... It, they're definitely going to show you, you know, colors that match if you have a problem with that. Now, I'm going to announce my next giveaway. So, I'm at 54 subscribers, and I'm so excited. It's very cool. And I am so grateful for every single person that subscribes. Now, what I'm going to do, like I said, I'm starting soon. I'm going to, we're going to make a quilt. And it's going to be like a several part series where we work on, you know, a quilt. And I'll show you which one we're going to do. So in the next few days, I'm going to put up 
the starter video with the supplies that you need. But if you are interested in this, this is actually a jelly roll or equivalent and a yard of fabric. And then of course the, the back and binding and all that, but you know, we can go over that um, when we're making the quilt. So if you're interested in doing that with us, that would be really wonderful. And hold on, we gotta have Molly get in here and say her hello. Say hi, Molly. Say hi. Okay, so the next giveaway. Oh, you hear the little squeaking sound she makes? It's the cutest thing. Yeah, so I'm not happy. So the next giveaway is for when we hit 100 subscribers. And we have a really cool prize for that, which I, I hope you think is really cool is the quilt that I'm going to make in my quilt along. And that's going to be a value of $250. Um, and that's just for, you know, my uh, cost to make it, not including, you know, labor and everything. So you can win one of my quilts. You can win the quilt that I'm going to make in the quilt along. So this is how it's going to work. And I'm going to tell you about it every video until we get to 100. Now, it could be months until we get up to 100. Maybe not. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm hoping not. So every time in every video I make from now until when we hit 100, you've got to be subscribed, of course, and make a comment. Now, if you make a comment on every single video that I put up, I'm going to put your name in the jar every single video. So if you uh, if you make comments on two of them, you get two you know two uh, entries and so on and so forth. It depends on how many you know. I don't know how many videos it's going to be until I hit a hundred. I'm so excited that I hit fifty four in a very uh, quick amount of time. It, it just is amazing and. You know, I feel like Sally Field when she, you know, was winning the Oscar. You, you like me. You really like me. So, um, and, I, and I hope that you're excited about uh, the possibility of a quilt. And, you know, I have some things coming through the mail. I have a new subscription about, it's a, oh shit, I forgot the name of it. Okay, it's, it's like essential oils and stuff like that. Um. I've actually been waiting for that. It's taken a little longer than I thought. And I have a few more boxes coming. So I hope to see you then. And like I said, if you want to be in the drawing for the quilt, just, of course, subscribe and make a comment. Hit the like button. You know, all that stuff. And every time, you know, every video that you make a comment until I hit 100, you get an entry. Does that sound fair? All right, and then after, you know, after that, you know, I, I'll always take suggestions for prizes, um, things that people might think are cool or whatever. Um, and I'd love to hear from you. So, <laughs> or Molly's like, Argh. yeah, it, we're about to get like a foot and a half of snow on Sunday, so I have to go grocery shopping. Uh, we're gonna get we're going to get quite a bit of it up here in Maine. All right. Love you guys. Bye-bye.